guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Video, and today we are back in Arc Survival Evolved. So, as you can see here, Queen Carnage is already getting pretty excited. She's stuck her tail through our building, and you know, she really wants to be taken out for a spin. And that's exactly what we're going to do today, because today, I want to take out our beautiful Queen Carnage here. The green Carnotaurus with, uh, shit, she might be stuck inside a trike. Oh my god, what kind of intercourse were these guys having? Look at the beautiful color scheme on this girl. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing but beauty. This Carno. Seriously, like the whole green thing, it actually does look pretty cool. Once we could color the saddle. Ooh, we get some colors for the saddle and stuff. That's going to be cool. Anyways, what we got to do now is we're going to go ahead and take this thing out for a test run. This is the main thing I want to do this episode. Uh, we will, of course, do other things. Come on, I'm not that selfish. But uh, like I said, main thing I want to do is take out this bad boy for a spin. But before we do that, might as well look around, see if anything needs to level up. Frodo's getting pretty close. Uh, where's... Diego, oh there he is, Diego's hidden, I, I panicked for a second, I'm like, no, Diego, no, don't go, Diego, go, but no, and then we got Riz's Raptor, who he hasn't checked on in a while, I guess, and there's armor on him too, I don't know how long that armor's been there, actually, it's been there a decent chunk of time, anyways, and then Bane, how you doing, uh, oh, Bane has a level up, let's level up his movement speed just a little bit more as he poops, interesting fact too, if you guys didn't notice, uh, Bane, like scorpions and shit, they don't actually have a gender, Interesting little fact there. But yeah, look at this thing. This thing's starting to get uh, pretty freaking fast. The way this thing scuttles. And, like, this is walking speed, too. For a walking scuttle, this is actually really fast. And then we'll say it's sprint. It gets a little bit faster, you know? Nothing too crazy. It actually is barely crazy at all. But still, the scuttling is real. And I can't wait to see how Bane progresses as we continue to level him up. But for now, let's take out Queen Carnage for her first little spin here. I'm excited to see how this goes. And then we'll also check in, of course... Uh, no, not Diego, but Crockpot over there in the water. And a lot of you guys are telling me that Crockpot and Sarkos and whatnot are actually good for going underwater, and they actually can go underwater. So I'm like, oh, I did not know that. So thank you guys so much for telling me that in the comment section. I do appreciate all those, like, any hints and tips you guys may be dropping me. They really actually are helpful. Because a lot of you guys are saying that they are actually really fast underwater, too. So that they're perfect. They're actually really good mounts for going underwater and trying to get some of the underwater resources. So thank you guys for telling me that. Now then. What we gotta do here is we're actually a couple XP points away from leveling up our Carno again, but let's go ahead, let's level him up the fun way and see how he does. Let's run his ass over here. As you can see, he's he's got some decent speed once you do get running, albeit his stamina is could be a lot better. And by a lot better, I mean really. Actually, no. Or is he the one with the good stamina? No, she, my bad. She has 400 stamina, which isn't too crazy, but not too great, anyways. Let's go ahead, let's try and kill one of these Stegos and see what we can do. Three hits, four hits, five hits, six. I don't know how many hits it's going to take to get to the center of a Stegosaurus, but seemingly a good chunk, actually. This is quite the epic battle. There we go. All right. Mm. I mean, could have gotten better, could have gotten worse. We did get prime meat off of it. Oh, that is nice. We actually did get prime meat. I'll probably just leave that in here for now because we'd have to get something to tame that with really quick, which we don't really have the advantage of doing at the time being. Anyways, we can level him up here. Or level her up. My bad. This is a girl after all. That's why we called her Queen Carnage. Let's go ahead. Obviously, our melee damage is lacking compared to all our other departments. So, let's make sure we focus on melee damage here. Let's go on a little bit. A little bit more of some killing sprees here and check out how much better this Carno gets. Because, I mean, he can kind of haul for how big he is. Now then, all we gotta do is turn him into, like, a formidable actual attacker, because as of now, uh, Sabretooth was a lot better than him, albeit- Yo, get out of here, Dillo! This is my meat! S stop! Die! Stay! Go away! Dillo, I hate you. You are a dick. Literally, that Dillo just took our food. Uh, this is the shit I have to put up with in this valley. Mm-mm. Absolute shenanigans. Anyways, let's head over to the turtle over here. See what we can get out of this guy. 27 turtle, holy shit! This turtle's actually insanely high level. That's actually kind of crazy. I wish I tried taming this one, albeit we already have a turtle at home. So it'd be kind of redundant, but still. This turtle is insane. It was a level 27 turtle just right off the bat. Holy shit. Damn. Alright, now let's see how this guy fares against some trikes. I do remember using, I think... Whatever it was, the Sarko, I think it took about four hits to take out a trike, so let's see if this is better, if it's worse. One, two, three, four, shit, five, uh-oh, six, okay, 
guy's actually taking a lot of hits. There we go. What was that like seven ish hits? So, Karno, definitely not the go to fighting mount right now, but we do have to take him out for spins. So, we actually have a method of leveling him up. But as of now, uh, Diego is definitely still the go to tank because Diego's a goddamn monster. But it doesn't change the fact that, uh, what should we call it? Queen Carnage here. Very formidable on her own. Look at that. Look at that beautiful grass. Look at those individual grass blades. The attention to detail. Amazing. Anyways, let's go ahead and use our short attention span here and try and do what we can about the Stego before he escapes that attention span as well. Uh, vital signs, we're doing all good. Okay, Stegos are going a lot easier, so I don't know. Did we just fight a high level trike? This actually seems kind of easy now again. Hmm. I am actually not sure. Speaking of that, any airdrops are going to go do anything? No, I don't think so. Did I just hear someone talking game? Uh, someone's Dillo is in this house. It's McSmug. Alright, well I won't terrorize his home today. Albeit it might be time to move out soon because a lot of people are apparently moving in by us. So, okay, let's see how the Carnal does chasing its prey. And actually that test does not work if the prey gets stuck on a tree. Alright, very conclusive evidence here. The prey does poorly. Let's try to get to an open field then and test this out and see how, you know, how good the Carnal is. Because, I mean, his stamina... Actually sucks at regenerating, if you look at this right here. Uh, he definitely a bit of a slower come up. <sighs> My bad about yawning. I just pulled pretty much an all-nighter, so I got absolutely no sleep. And, uh, literally gonna record this video. Going to pass out while it renders and uploads. And then hopefully, while that is happening, I'll be able to get to catch some Zs while... And then after I catch the Zs, I'll be able to hop in our level 29 turtle... Jesus Christ, what is it with this land and high-level turtles? This is crazy, but yeah, the plan is uh, let's continue the stream at 12 today, albeit, worst-case scenario, I might actually, like, 12 noon uh, Central Standard Time. There we go. This is a chase. Anyways, I might move that back to uh, Tuesday, actually, because today I'm just tired as fuck. Like, if you guys saw me, you'd just be like, holy shit, Star, you are tired as fuck. And I'm like, indeed, I am tired as fuck. Can confirm. So, uh... I mean, you, can, you might be able to hear it a little bit in my voice. I'll be that's kind of the morning grogginess, because I, I don't know. I pretty much just woke up. <clears throat> Holy shit, where, why did I misclick out? Why did I click out of? There we go, okay. Uh, let's throw this guy back in here. I think we've, for the most part, tested out everything I've wanted to test. We could kill a Dillo for shits and gigs. We go against another Carbon Emmys. No, not a Carbon Emmys. Actually, no, let's try it. Let's, let's see how he does. Let's see how he fares chasing a Parasaur here. <sighs> you know it does suck? Their stamina. That's definitely the biggest con I can find about it. I mean, I'm kind of unfairly comparing him to our Sabretooth Diego. One of the things is Diego's a lot higher level, as in, like, Diego's insanely high level. And he's able to do the shit he does, so once we level up this, uh, whatchamacall, once we level up the Carnal a little bit, he should be able to hopefully do the same types of things. And by that, I mean, hopefully it'll be just as much of a tank or something like that. I would thoroughly enjoy that. And, uh, actually, ooh, we ourselves are about to level up here. We're actually 6 XP away, so we'll probably get a kill and we're good to go. I mean, like I said, I do want to see how this thing fares against the Parasaurs. Okay, not running until I have to. Because our running function is, well, on the car, no biggest drawback is how long it takes to re get regen its stamina. It sucks poop. It really does. It sucks butt, and that's not a butt I'd like to suck. That's like a... Oh, okay. Three hitting a Parasaur. Respectable. I mean, it's no Diego, but again, unfair comparisons. You know, as a standalone dino, honestly, the only con I can find about this guy is uh, the relatively high taming time. I think it took me about two hours, but of course, you can't take loss with prime meat. And uh, other than the two hours, I do believe... Hmm... <sighs> I'm trying to think. What else after the two hours? Wait, what did I even mention two hours for? Oh my god, the thought train. Uh, the derailing is real. It really is. Anyways, Frodo, you gotta like watch out, bro. I don't want you getting like pushed through these gates. There you go. Stick your beak out. I guess that'll keep you safe. Anyway, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, how long the Carno took. Yeah, Carno pretty much took two hours, but of course you can subtract some time too because of uh, the prime meat I used. So probably Carno took hour and a half or so. 
somewhere around there. Uh, Diego, our hourish, I think, counting prime meat and shit. Diego was not too long. And uh, Diego's a fucking trusty mount. If you guys can craft the saber tooth, I recommend Diego. Or the saber tooth mount, I'd recommend Diego. Uh, and Carno wise, I mean, I'm loving riding that thing around. I'm not gonna lie. But as of now, Diego's still more useful, so I'll probably just stick to him. Let's hop on our alligator. First, let me hop on the motherfucking alligator. And let's continue working on his. We're gonna have a level up up our sleeve here. Let's work on his melee damage a little bit so that's a bit more respectable. 250% and 500 health. I think we can manage. I think we can manage. Do we wanna take him out for a spin? I mean, we haven't done that this episode. And I mean, you guys really seem to like Diego, or not Diego, Crockpot. Best name NA, I know. Anyways, you guys really did seem to like Crockpot or whatever. So let's take her out. Take her out for a spin. And see what kind of damage we can do on these ocean shores. And by that, I mean river shores. All right, we got the trike over here. Got some parasaurs. What do we do? Let's try to take out the trike then. I mean, we could try and look for some sea life in the river, but honestly, it's going to take forever. Let's just fuck it up because I, I love using this thing, man. I love it. I love it. And I can't wait to see what we get next, too. Uh, if I do stream today, the plan is, or w whichever day I stream, today or tomorrow, uh, the plan definitely is to try and get ourselves either an Ankylosaur or a Mammoth. Those are the two things I'm going to be gunning for because as you can see from my level, which is 2.4 XP points away from leveling. Alright, we're going to level that up first and then I'm going to finish talking about this because now that I see this, I really actually just want to have this in our repertoire. <laughs> Uh, Alright, Mr. Paris, where you take your poop in peace. Uh, let me kill you, please. There we go. Nice. Oh my god. This thing two hits? Well, shit. Sarkos are actually very strong, then. Holy shit. I did not know that they were this crazy. Let's continue munching on this motherfucker. Alright, he's munched upon. We got our narcotics back. Got some extra sauropod vertebrae, although I think we have enough. Some extra raw meat on this guy. Maybe we'll get that cooking or something of the sort. And we got the recipes and shit. Now then, I'm just gonna go. I'm starting to think how to go about this. I mean, we could just go like stab some dillos. I think doing it personally gets us nets us more XP, and I do want to do this. And then I also do want to ask you guys what engrams you want to see. So I think next episode or something, I'll try and craft up some gun ammo. I'll try and craft up like a bunch of ingots or some shit. I'll go gather some metal, and uh, after that, actually, I think we have metal here. Or we had metal before Demo showed up. <laughs> Anyways. Do think that I'm going to try and craft up some bullets. Because gunpowder isn't going to be too crazy for us to get. Flint's relatively easy. And uh, charcoal, we have up the yin yang. So we're good there. And then after that, all we're going to need is... what? How's it go? I actually do want to see this. Oh, we can't check here. We got to check on the mortar and pestle. There we go. If we want to make gunpowder, we need that in charcoal, and then that's stone and flint. So stone and flint, those really are not going to be too much of a struggle to get. We should be in the clear there. And let's head on upstairs. Check out our workbench, which does still have the metal. Okay, good. Good. We still have ourselves some guns here, too. Oh, no, the long neck rifle's gone. Hmm. Well, then, boys and girls, looks like that's something that we ourselves have to research, because I really want one of these pretty badly, just because I need a sniper anyways. Let's go ahead, wherever the hell it is. Is it lower? Ah, there we go. Shit, we need a flare gun. Why do we need a flare gun? What's a flare gun have to do with this? Come on. Flare guns shoot flares. This shoots bullets. This can kill. Albeit a flare gun could probably kill if you tried hard enough. Let's not think about that alternate reality there, though. And here we should have some more of these. The long neck rifle. And, ooh, chitin boots, in case we ever do want to get chitin. And if we ever have an abundance of it. We should be able to do some fun stuff with that. And that reminds me, pretty soon we really do gotta head out to, like, the caves again or something. Because, uh, we need, like, whatchamacall. We need the materials to craft some of the stuff and, like, not the spyglass shit. Do we have to go on the workbench? I think we do. Anyways, if we go to weapons, attachments, as you can see, the scope attachment, that's going to take us 20 crystal. That, for the most part, can only be found in caves. We're definitely going to have to do that there. Uh, ammo, that's just like gunpowder, ingots. Yeah, literally a sniper rifle bullet will be, because you have to use, uh, whatchamacallit. Or no, that's for the shotgun shells. Okay, sniper rifle bullet, straight up, 2 ingots and 12 gunpowder. So, we should be able to craft up some pretty good stuff. The simple shotgun ammo, on the other hand, 
that's where you gotta load in these simple bullets into the shotgun shell and yada yada you get where I'm going with that pretty much you actually gotta craft it like a shell so it spews out all that shit uh, depending on resources I'm gonna try and craft up all those and show them off a little bit anyways the long neck rifle 95 metal ingots holy god and then wood um I guess what we're gonna have to do then is possibly on stream probably on stream because I think I'd, where I want to go to get the anklos and the mammoths possibly over there that is like the territory where you can find metal as well so that's gonna be a bit of a double whammy so uh, looking forward to that but other than that, I mean, I think that's going to do for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me showing off our Carno a little bit, doing a bit of fighting. Uh, we've, we've showed off Bane already. Honestly, at this point, we're just waiting to hopefully get all the materials for the Broodmother, because that's the thing I'm most excited about, so we're going to have to see how that goes. But so Crockpot's over there, chilling in the water, doing his thing, enjoying life, and honestly just, you know, sunbathing and shit. But uh, that reminds me, you know what, I should probably go sunbathe. The weather's pretty nice outside, and I'm feeling pretty shitty, so maybe that'll help out. But, uh... Yeah, excuse to go sunbathing. Woo! Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you did enjoy it. As always, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.